Hello everyone and welcome to the Essential Oil Extraction Lab. In today's video we're using cinnamon as our spice. We'll begin by recording 10 grams of our spice. We'll use a mortar and pestle to break up the larger pieces. Now we'll assemble our distillation apparatus. Be careful when assembling your glassware. Take extra precaution while using your thermometer and septum. Be sure to use grease in between the joints of your glassware. There should be four joints in total on this apparatus. Make sure your water hoses are attached correctly to your condenser. Load your round bottom flask, making sure not to get any solid in the grease of the joint, as this can affect the seal. Make sure your distillate is collecting in a beaker placed in an ice water bath. Set your variax to between 95 and 100%. Your distillation should come to a boil after about 10 or 15 minutes of heating. Keep track of the volume of the distillate. Once we reach 25 milliliters, we'll be able to shut down the distillation. Make sure you lower the heating mantle away from the round bottom flask to prevent the spice from charring. Next, set up your glassware for the extraction using your separatory funnel. Start by adding the 25 milliliters of distillate to your separatory funnel. Then you'll want to measure out 10 milliliters of hexanes and add them to the separatory funnel as well. Since our oils prefer to dissolve in organic layers, the goal here is to try and pull the oils from the aqueous layer into the organic. And to help do this, we'll have to mix both of these liquids together. For the next step, make sure that the stopper is attached securely to the separatory funnel and that you're venting the separatory funnel 
after inverting. This prevents a buildup of pressure, which can cause harm to yourself or cause a mess. Notice how the separatory funnel is pointed away from the person using it and into the back of the hood. Next, we'll want to separate our liquids. Since we know the density of water is higher than the density of hexanes, our aqueous layer will be on the bottom. You'll want to let some of your organic layer pass through the funnel. This will ensure that your organic layer has less water mixed in. During separations, labeling your glassware is highly recommended. Since there is still oil in the aqueous layer, we're going to want to extract from the aqueous layer a second time. You'll measure out another 10 milliliters of hexanes and then add that to the separatory funnel for your second extraction. Once you pour off your aqueous layer, go ahead and combine the organic layer with the previous extractions organic layer. Next, we want to remove any residual water from the organic layer using magnesium sulfate. When you swirl it up, if there is excess powdery magnesium sulfate, that's a good indication that it is dry. Before you transfer your hexane layers to the 50 milliliter beaker, make sure you record the mass of it on a scale. Transfer the hexane layers to the beaker. Make sure you don't transfer any magnesium sulfate since that will artificially increase the mass of our oil.
Once transferred, use a gentle stream of air to evaporate off the hexanes. Once evaporated, this should leave behind the oil from our spice. After evaporation, record the mass of the oil plus the beaker. Next, we'll analyze our oil via IR spectroscopy. Be sure to label any significant absorptions with their correct bond identifications. Be sure to clean up when done, and thanks for watching.